You understand? Well, what do you need to know? What do you need to know? I need your month, day, and year and time of birth, and I can do a video for you, too. Everyone is for free. Get their birth chart analysis from me, just because I can do it. And your time of birth, too. If you don't have your time of birth, I can still do half your chart, and it'll be okay. I'll be swift and clean. Okay, shine bright. We'll talk soon. Toodles. Dastin, the legendary, iconic Dastin, <laughs> and my bestie is New York. He's going to be our witness. So, Dastin, okay, Dastin, tell the people what you're exactly going to do for me today. I'm going to analyze your analysis analyze your on your astrology bar chart. Let's do it. Let's get it together. As in your son and Leo. And, and it's actually and in actually. in the eighth house of Virgo. Oh yeah, you're a Libra, I mean, not a Leo, sorry, your moon is a Leo, and this is like your mother, how she treated you, so she was your biggest fan, and she might have been a narcissist and turned you into a narcissist, you're loyal to um, having fun instead of being a friend, you really rather have fun, drama, and uh, expression, and, and a story going on, okay, your moon is in Leo, and it's in the seventh house, um, which means that you attract people that's just like your mother, and you see them as they're different from you, and you might not like them, but you treat, they come, and you attract them. Let me see what your seventh house is. It's, uh, in Leo. That means that your Aquarius rising, and, uh, you come off as really friendly, and everyone thinks that you're a friend forever, but, like, really, and you're good for the environment and everything, but really, secretly, you're, like, a Leo narcissist, and you, the people that you treat and attract, you treat, you attract people just like your mother, she might have been, like, your friend, like, your biggest fan is what it really was, and then your Saturn's in Capricorn, which means your father put discipline on you and your reputation, and your Saturn's in the, um, in the 12th house of Pisces energy, but your 12th house is in Capricorn, which means you got to grow up really fast because your daddy did not give you a car and then you had to buy your own car. And you also probably were put in foster care or something like you were a do or, a, or a, had to be taken care of by other people, um, other fathers or something. Or you had to be your own father. And it, it hard, hard, hard. Is that true? It also means you have life lessons to deal with drugs and delusions and spirituality, and also gives you opportunity to be, have real psychic ability in the environment of where you're supposed to be psychic, and it'd be in your reputation field too, if you want to put effort in that stuff. But your mid heaven is Scorpio; it's very chaotic. No one can get you to do shit, nothing, but that you come off as someone who is very disciplined and then is ready to cooperate. But in the in the real life on stage, you're too chaotic. But you have a talent that people want to put in front of the in a show, like put put in front of them on the front line because you have something that people want to see but you are too chaotic and impatient to show it all off and you have to be put you have to be pushed into doing whatever your career is and what, what you do in your public's eye or you wouldn't do what you're supposed to do and, and what you do is authentic okay also i want to tell you something good about that i guess but <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm still recording. I need to cut that out because it's too much, but I'll cut it out when it's uploaded. Shit. Too much, too much. Um, time is wasting while I'm recording. I guess I'll check turn. Right, Back it. again. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, your eighth house is in Virgo, which means you might have bruised um, organs during a death, or or you might have uh, something. You'll die of happily old age, by the way, but it will be like a day to day thing that you do, and you die through that all the time. And it means like um like you'll be known as someone who is critical but perfect and all that you know charming bullshit but whatever and you have sex with people because 
Okay. You want to turn them into product? I don't know. Never mind. Let me look. Let uh, me look at your chart a little bit. Your your Mars is in Gemini, which means you like talking and sex and stuff, and it's it, it's actually in the fourth house of home. So you bring everyone to your house because that's what you really rather have is everyone that you're related to, relationships to. You want them to be at your house. Your ninth house is in Libra, which means you want to have someone to sleep with at all times. You cannot stand going to bed by yourself. You always have to have another person. And when you wake up, you become at war. You get mad. And you're Listen, listen, your, thir your third house is Aries, which means when you wake up, you become a bitch and pissed off, and you tell everyone to fuck out, because you think about yourself only, but when you go to bed, you think about the other person, and they have to be with you. And when you wake up, you come, when you wake up, you become this arrogant fucking asshole, caveman, just for survival, and you are mean and aggressive, but when you go to bed, it's like you're beautiful, and you, you want to marry, you want to marry somebody to bed. So you want to marry somebody who you can just go to bed with, but when you wake up, you're a bitch, and you're selfish, and then... Your, your Venus is in Libra, which means you, you, you do want them to meet the needs of you halfway or, uh, or they just meet you all the way and that's how you test them. And, and the thing is, your relationships, you're, you're also looking for somebody who's beautiful and fake too, but whatever, and has the shallow tea, whatever. But like, um, but it's in the, uh, uh, I think the eighth house, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, it means that you are uh, looking for somebody to use other people for their money. You want government property with them. You want sex with them. You want beauty. You want it to be normal, but it's not. It's Virgo. It's critical. You're critical of them, too. You want someone you're going to just have sex with and day to day, every day, I guess, probably, so that you can stand having sex with every day. But who d doesn't? But anyways... Your beautiful relationships, your Mars is a Gemini, you trap people in your voice. When you say something and you're a bitch and you're mad, you tra you, tra you trap people in a conversation where they cannot get away from it. They can't get away from your fucking mouth, and your mouth is the key to your madness. Your storytelling lies and your gossip is where your madness is, where your force of nature is. Where your fortune force of nature is. Because it is communities, neighbors, and people who are like your siblings. You are a fucking amazing bitch. You might have even had sex with your siblings. You never fucking know because it is in that sign. And particular house is in, um... Shut the fuck up. Okay. Okay, also... You... Yeah, you come off as clueless, just like Elisa said. Yeah. Okay, you probably look like Elisa Silverstone because she is a Libra Aquarius rising as well. So, so you could probably be a total fucking good actress. So you also are not only are beautiful, but you could be in an actress, being a good actress. And, but people have to cast you, and you would be a bossy bitch, and you would be too much on your own. Like, you want to do things on your own in the public's eye. Like, if someone was trying to direct you, you would be too chaotic and restlessly, through, ruthlessly a bitch. And people cannot bear you. Only people who can bear you makes a good director. You know what I mean? Is that true? People cannot, you are chaotic in the public's eye. But at home, you are very much relaxed and all about food, nourishment, and your own uh, nourishment to others and value and relationships. And and you are a spoiled brat and money it comes to money. Spoiled, spoiled brat. When it comes to your mother, your mother gave you the money. She gave you, she was their fan and she then she paid for your Patreon. Then she paid for your Patreon. I mean, she treated you like an narcissist. So she was. But she's your biggest fan. Like, she, you ever know it. And also... It is in that house of the, um, fuck, V11. It's Leo as well, which is the seventh house of other people. She make you be beautiful, and you were beautiful, and, um, she, she, I mean, it was like an expression that you have, and when you talk, but you, like, your Mercury is in Libra, so you will have a beautiful voice as well. Your Mercury... Where you like to talk is the eighth house of despair, like chaos. When you, you reach your mouth into chaos to find that to, for yourself, your moon is in, um, fucking seventh house of other people. Damn. You just keep on attra attracting people just like your mother. Is that true? Anyways, whatever. Fake and narcissist. You just, tr you just attract all of them people. Your Lilith is in Sagittarius, which means people don't want to see you travel and people don't want to see you learn things. But you do it anyways, and you gamble with life. People don't want to see you gamble. Stop gambling because they don't want to see it, but you do it anyways. And you become arrogant. You got to fight to do something like that. And you have to fight to be a foreigner, be around with foreigners. People don't want to see you around with foreign lands, but you do it anyways or some bullshit. I have no clue. 
Is this anything to do with you? It's in the 10th house. Oh, oh, on the spotlight. In the public's eye. People don't want to see you do this. But you become a detective in the uh, public's eye. You are, and you're jealous in the public's eye. You become a monster in the public's eye. And you are a monster. People do not try to make you stop being so lucky, too. But you are still lucky in, in, in the appearance of your reputation as well. Everyone will, really knows you, but they don't want to. They do know you, but they can't help it. That You, you become known wh the way that you want, whether they like it or not. You're going to become known. And it's, it's an arrogance about you that you are fucking known and famous. You could be a guru, but it, it's like you stepped into this chaos magic demon and people are fucking attracted to you, obviously. All the people who are attracted to you are fucking narcissists and spotlight whores and they're beautiful and they, they are, they are welcoming you in like a family too. You are welcome to anybody's life. Like yeah. intimidated by me. That's crazy. And you're also yeah. lucky with that too. Your Jupiter of higher learning expansion in the other people's eye. You are lucky with that beautiful spotlight. You are lucky with it. You're lucky with attention and an expression too. Like you are beautiful speaking. You look beautiful. You can be a narcissist too secretly as they are trying to spin on you to be. And you know what? They You heal people by being a day-to-day -day routine person and being someone who turns y'all into products and how to communicate in an analytical way and be a critical being. They learn and heal from you to tell them the truck and truth about their impure minds, but you have the key to heal their mind to be pure in a critical, badass way. Because it's like very, it's, it's like digesting the food. That's what they come to you for. Every day they want to come to you. Your child is in cancer, which means you have to mother. Your yeah, your this is making you want to heal yourself emotionally and motheringly. You have to be your own mother. This is who, how you heal yourself. When you become the like mo professional mother, family, welcoming person, you it crashes and you have to reheal yourself and remodel yourself as your home and your own comfort zone. You have to remodel yourself in front of your relationships. Your relationships and your own mother. You have to be your own built. You built your own emotions inside yeah, of you to him. I'm really impressed, honey. I really am. Like, you really have come a long way with your craft. And let me tell you about see, tell you. about Cirrus and Virgo. You might not want to fuck an animal, but it would heal the animal. You, it, The animals are crying for your healing this because you can heal them. You could, you could be a fucking farmer. You, you can do this, and everyone needs you to do something like this. And um, they come to you for that. They think that you would feed them. You, they think that you were going to make this into something every day for them. They think that you're an everyday person for them. But every day, secretly, bitch, you are actually a sixth house in cancer. You're everybody's family. You're everybody's mom every fucking day. You're emotionally gypsy every day. Your fifth house is the heart, which means you are everybody's, you're a heart of the neighborhood and your community and your brothers and sisters, because your fifth house is Gemini. You have the gossip and the tea in your heart. You have the message in your heart. You're the messenger in your heart and how you think and communicate. That's in your heart. You communicate from your heart. And even if you're selfish, motherfucking caveman, Aries, third house, you have Mercury and Libra, which is a beautiful, balanced way of talking and flirting. Okay, next, but yeah, yeah, Vista okay. and Gemini, you also have a gift have, of communicating. Yeah, you have to fill it, you have to fill it first. Let's just see if you have a connection first. I don't have to, fill, that's you not psychic that, ability. You no, are, you are, you are that's, that's, that thanks, but that's not psychic ability at all. No. That's. Get this round two together, your friend, okay? You a Scorpio son, we don't know what house it's in. Your moon is in Cancer. You were mother to nourish, and people can feel your emotions when they're around you. You can manipulate them with your own emotions, but you our emotions are like everywhere. Like because your moon is in Cancer, your mom is a good mom. Your Saturn's in Sagittarius. Your dad had to tr travel with you to learn things, go to different schools. You had to learn things about not being bored. You're just trying to learn lessons about lessons that are just a philosophy in your fucking head, and that's all it is. Like your dad was preachy or something. 
And like your Uranus is a Sagittarius. That's how you evolve is you just go traveling. You think you uh, experience something futuristic and new or something. Your Venus is in Sagittarius too. So you're trying to marry a foreigner and all you do is use them for learning shit. And then you get lost because you have already bag ups because you cannot stand just being stagnant because you want things to keep moving in a relationship like Ariel Little Mermaid. She got to go with a cancer sign who welcomed her in with no voice, just a shell of bitch, cancer, a a a Eric from Little Mermaid. And Ariel is a little mermaid. So you are an Ariel when you're beautiful. And you you learn things and you just, you know, you have backups. You want to keep things moving. You don't like being stagnant. Your Mars is in Libra, which means you talk shit about other people. You complain about them, but you don't do it. But you do it secretly like a gossip bitch because you don't want confrontation. And you are... Uh, also, like a Playboy Mansion person, you probably have sex that way, but you make everyone think that and believe that you're really in a relationship before you have sex with them. You don't have to have one night stand. You make them think that you're in a relationship. You make them think that they're in a relationship with you. You put that spell on them, and that's when you have sex. You don't have to just have sex like a one night stand. You only you make it that way. Your Jupiter is an Aries. You're lucky with who you are and uh, surviving. You're lucky with uh, intimidating people being in a fight. You're lucky with um, surviving. Like you can survive anywhere. I mean, people. Some people will be like, "This is too uncomfortable to stay in," but you can survive anywhere. But okay, your Lilith is in Leo, which means people do not want to do this, but they do it anyways. They revolve around you. Okay, they don't want to see you as a narcissist, but you actually are one. But you don't notice it. You do not notice your own heart. You don't notice that people do walk on eggshells around you and people do, do go to the next limit just for you because you make them think that they would have to. And plus, you also make them think while they want to do this for you because you are that good. And you also um, get unearned luck because of Lilith and Leo. Lilith and Leo is something that people don't want to see, but you show it anyways and you become shining light. You become this expression. You become this line. You become proud of yourself and people don't want to see that. And we don't know why, because we might see you as naive or something. And you be it anyways. And you are the heart of the matter in every friendship way. You know what I mean? So you keep yourself moving and shit. Wow. Your luck is with um, reacting to others, too. So you're not saying nothing. You have anything to say? You have also communication problems because your crown is in Gemini. Your C rest is in Capricorn, which means... Let me tell you. Your C rest is in Capricorn, which means everyone thinks that they are good with you when they see be seen with you in their reputation. That's who you really are. People feel like if they are seen around with you or around you, they are got a good reputation. You make them have a good reputation. You're everybody's good boss. People come to you as being their boss, even though you're not even the manager. But you, but you might be one. You're good, good for people's reputation. You're good for people's um, references. Like you can write down being write, written down as a reference, and they call you. They would help. You would help them so much in getting hired, just because. Jupiter's Inquirers, social media, and friends is someone you would just want to marry can be that um, future-minded, distantist, um, open to higher self kind of shit. I don't know, just like, will know things, and you'll be lucky with being just this weirdo person with each other, just being each other. And your vis is in Leo, which means you're... you're Knowledge of expression is really cool. You put them your products to get the. Anyways, yeah, that's cool. Grooves. Okay, what was your input on uh, what I just said? Like, is your serious and like, like, you really know all about me. Really? Like, your reputation is good when people are being seen with you? My mind. Really? That's really? gravy. Yeah. Well, that's just your astrology chart. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you. That's funny, huh? I said that's your astrology chart, but I don't really know you. I just. I don't really know you. Oh, you're really smart because you know me. No, I don't. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well. Cool. Thanks. If anything. Awesome. <laughs> I'm kind of recording, but I don't know why. I just wanted to know your input on what I said. 
And your Mars is in Libra, I think. Uh, that's true. Your willpower. Your mo okay, your moon is in Cancer, which means you'll project an insecurity that people can feel because you accidentally are out there. Your emotions are touching people. And plus, you're a manipulative person as a Scorpio. And you would, like, uh, put up with everyone's bullshit, but you won't, won't tell them whether you are seriously believing it or not. So that could be something that you'd be doing to me right now. <laughs> Do what? How is that crazy? That's that's a expected a thought. Do you have traveling opportunities? To travel. And the peop and the person you want to be with is the person who is a foreigner. Is that kind of people you want to be with? Yes. No, I mean, like, you weren't willing to move for your relationship. So there, hello? Anyways, that was not psychic ability. That was a birth chart analysis. That's astrology. It has nothing to do with psychic ability. It's just, I bet it could, but it doesn't. It just is about a birth chart and your placements and my analysis, my perspective. Anyways, the end. The tiger's ass and jungle. Well, someone needs to. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. He's Tony, he's Tony the tiger. Tony the tiger. Oh. <laughs> right. They're great. You're right. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. Let's see what your moon, your Mars and moon sign is. Okay. Can I do your birth chart? What month, day, year, and time were you born? Because I'm gonna do it. I want to see why you express yourself so cool. And the I want to see what your Mercury is in. Yes. Yeah. What month, day, year, and time were you born? Okay, 1997, August, August what, 11 or 8th, what'd you say? Oh, 18. 18. What time were you born? I was born at 1 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah. I was, damn, bro, you must be deaf. I, no, I'm kind of just retarded. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's okay, I got it. You don't know what time you were born? Like, I was born at 1 11 p.m.? Do you know? I thought somebody was digging your ears because you so deaf on this damn phone. Well, kind of, my phone is echoing and shit, and I really can't understand everything, and I'm really done with numbers, so, I'm, like, remembering shit like that. No, but that's funny. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to do your birth chart in a minute. You don't know what time you were born, like, I was born at 11 p.m.? Right. Yeah. Dash, then my new name is OG Bobby Johnson. My name is Moonlight Glow, Moon Glow, or Moonlight. I don't care. I'm gonna be Moonlight, bitch. I'm gonna be Moonlight. I'm gonna be Moonlight. Okay, I got that, but you don't know what your time is. Like, I'm born at 1 11 p.m. Do you know? I don't know what time. Okay, that's fine. I could just do half of your chart, and here we go. Your chart is being calculated right back now, and I'm trying to hurry it up. Sorry. Okay, um, here it is. Oh, God, here it is. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. For yeah, for reallys. I'm trying to calculate it, but my computer is so slow, so I can never be on time for nobody. Because I have Saturn in the sixth house holding me back. Okay, your moon is in Aquarius, which means you're super friendly and persistent with everyone. I love you. You're a good Leo because you're polarity from the inside. Your mother was either your friend or somebody who cr discredited you as a person. Like they would think that you can, you're not allowed to dress like this. You're not allowed to uh, talk to these weirdo people. Is that how she was an egotistical maniac or was she actually your friend? Or that she had to become your friend. Your Saturn's in Aries, which means your dad put you into sports like basketball and stuff like that. You, can't, you became a tomboy. You found out who you were. But you have problems with knowing who you are. You have problems with your head. You might, you might, 
your dad probably was like selfish and he made you and um well was he or was he very heroic and stuff and like um aggressive with you and your venus is in libra so you no my dad is a mechanic on cause. He's a mechanic. Okay, cool. Your Mars is in Scorpio, which means you might be super jealous and in a relationship and violent when you get mad. Or you're good. You're you're scary. You probably have sexual secrets that are too scary to even know about. Your Venus is in Libra, which means you're beautiful in relationships and you're you want to meet the needs people you want to meet someone halfway, but you usually let them meet you all the way just to see if they're really still there. You know what I mean? Like you react. Oh yeah, 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 you yeah, understand. And you have problems with reacting and be, be and being selfish, but you're not. You you want someone else who's not selfish in a relationship, but you're kind of hypocritical in a relationship. And um, you are beautiful. Your Lilith is in Virgo, so you might live in different places that are gross, or you don't know if you're gross or really perfect and clean. You just can never figure that out. And people don't want to see you do anything every day because you're too destructible and chaotic. Is that true? Because you're, you like to isolate yourself and go on adventures and gamble with life and your secret is, um, you do want to learn from people, but are you good at, like, studying or something? But then again, your Lilith is in Virgo. So it's hard for you to be about your health and be about every day and perfect things. People don't want to see you OCDC. But your Mercury is in Virgo, so the way you think and communicate is got to be perfect so you don't really splurt out things unless you're delusional um your neptune's in capricorn oh that's good uranus is in aquarius and it's at home with itself as being friendly with people your moon your moon's in aquarius so was i right about your moon and your mom and dad or what he was a mechanic so i guess he was what is aries like for them fuck it's just so sun sunny it's so weird I don't know. You have opportunities of knowing who you are and being a survival where you could be taken away from that. It's challenging you to be um, surviving yourself for yourself. <laughs> Anyways, am I right about anything that I just said? I can't believe what you said about your boyfriend, though, Dashed, and oh my god, I can't believe he's walking by. Yeah, he did. Get out of the way, yay! Yeah. Exactly, you're still a Taurus. What the fuck? I know, right? He was cool. Do you talk to him? His moon in Aquarius, like me, he will probably I, talk. I don't, I don't know who he is. Oh, well. I was just wondering. I've never heard him. Oh, didn't I say what your rising sun was? Have I ever did your whole door chart? I did, but I don't remember everything no, about it. I know you don't. I never gave you my birthday. Oh, really? You never no, did, and I still that. talk to your fucking ass? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't even talk to Thuck in the voice, but that bitch let me do her birth chart. <laughs> And it was good. It was good because I explained her so good because our chart is very obvious to me anyways. It was so fucking good. I read that bitch back and forth, left and right several times because we didn't get to record the first few times. Damn. It's crazy. But she she told me I was right about everything and that was, she was really nice about that, but she's still a bitch. I just want to hear you say OG Bobby Johnson. OG Bobby Johnson. Okay. I can't, I can't do it without saying OJ and making fun of it. It's too funny, but I do that on accident oh too. God. I do that on accident. I'm trying to learn it. I'm a retard. Hello, original gangsta Bobby Johnson. I'll sound like a dork. I'm not cool. I'm a cool mom. OG Bobby Johnson. Hey, oh, where's that OG Bobby Johnson? Do you, can you see an OG? Hello? Bobby Johnson. BJ? OG Bo BJ. That's what it is. OG BJ. OG BJ. Yeah. <laughs> OG BJ. Oh, original gangster blowjob. <laughs> it's not funny. It is stupid, but it's funny because it's stupid. <laughs> But OG is still cute. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh, my goodness. I mean, someone's got to call you something for sure. They'll snack that up in a minute. Johnson. I guess you got to be Johnson Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. I knew you were going to say that. 
Well, it's predictable. That shit was predictable. Give me half. Give me cut. Give me a cut. What am I, OG Dashton? Okay, no, thank I'm you. Some boss seed. Well, you were the BJ. Hello. <laughs> OG. Mm hmm. Anyways, you're gonna. You should make a. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yes. The Mr. Johnsons. That sounds awesome. Mm hmm. You should make your sneakers. Yeah, you should. That sounds <laughs> wonderful. You should make a tennis shoe out of that. <laughs> tennis shoes. What? Uh, okay, cool. And I'll have my ponytail dragging around in the back. Like I'll have a ponytail in the back, like streaming around. They'll have to deal with it. <laughs> They'll have to deal with walking on it and stuff, because I want it to be long. It'll be a piece of hair on their little, uh, you know, they have a tongue on the shoe. They have a little tongue on the back of the shoe, too. And it'll be a little ponytail. They're going to have to get it. I want them to be in all colors, but mainly the first one's got to be glittery and lavender and purple and shit. Very cool. Because, you know, the value of beauty and the value of a relationship and the value of money. And you're like, I'm not worth this shit. I want more. I want the gold in fucking pyramid. Because I'm a Taurus. Okay? Yeah. That's the Taurus song, bitch. I think, yeah, I think so. It's so Taurus, this song. No, the one where it's like, I want it, I got it, I'm going to go get it, or something like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Sing Ariana Grande for that me moment for me. What's Ariana Grande lyrics? Cause... I got it. I, I, wait. I want it. I got it. You like my hair? She thinks. Just bought it. I see it. I like it. Got it. I want it. I got it. I can never try to learn those lyrics. I try to, though, so it's too funny to say. A lot of moments. You're such a good voiceover, Taurus. Hello. Wonderful. Oh, we need to do your bar chart. Thank you. Awesome. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. I want to do your birth chart, man. Let me do it. Oh, what the fuck? Say that again. <laughs> Say liberty, liberty, liberty again. I don't even understand, but it was funny. <laughs> oh, my God, Becky. Liberty, 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 liberty. Yes. So awesome. I'm on a commercial. I know. Okay. Liberty, 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 liberty. May, may, may. Okay. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Somebody wants to buy something from me. Fuck yeah. Wow. What? Yes. On offer up. Do you work on with uh, Amazon or something? Because that would be fun. No, I'm selling something on offer up. What is the hell that? That sounds so interesting. Offer up is where you put items. You can put items up for sale and people in your local area will come and buy them from you. Rocks on. I should... You need a smartphone to do that or a computer. Oh, okay. I don't have none of that. I have a computer. That's it. I'll try it. Somebody okay. wants to buy from me, yes. I don't mean the bag. You like put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> So fun. You got it. I like it. Let me tell you your birth chart now. Fuck yes, bitch. Alrighty. You are a Taurus, bitch. And it's in the third house. Wow. Multiple personalities. How you talk. Hell yes. And your Mercury's in Taurus. So you have a beautiful voice. What you do. And it's in the second house of value and possession. Wow. And yourself as Aries. Oh yes, you do. Everyone knows this. Oh God, everyone wow. has that. Yeah, you do. Yes. 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 Multiple personalities that are still stable and all that good stuff. Your moon is in Leo, which means your mom's a narcissist, and she's the one that made you, she was your biggest fan, and she, every day to day routine, she criticized you every day, and she also was your biggest fan, 
And she was mother and nursing all the same time. Like, never mind. Let me see. She was two faced bitch, and you are two faced bitch. Gossiper at home. Oh, so you're saying that she's the friend and the enemy at the same time? Yeah. And she, and your dad, wow. and your dad is also very. That's a piece of shit. Okay, let me tell you first. Don't tell me. Your dad was racist and uh, he made you go through foster care and put you in, uh, uh, made you be taken care of by other people and it was in your reputation that you had to become your own father. You had to become his father and he is trying to just be your friend because he's a uh, loof retard or something. And he's, uh, he could just oh, no, have made that's it. That's wrong. My dad, no, that's wrong. My dad is not in my life. Okay, well, were you an egotistical maniac, and then you, or you became the weirdo that um, is good and free and, and treats everyone equally and stuff, and you became not racist and prejudiced and all that bullshit. <laughs> and knowledge is your power. It can give you the knowledge, or it can take it away from you. And also, it means it's in the 12th house, and you can also be psychic if you fucking do it. Like, you can actually be psychic, and also this means something like you would be taken care of by other people and stranded. As a, on foster care, you wasn't on foster care. You no. work. So you, did you work before you ever became foster care? Or were you like privileged because you have? I was never in foster care. What the fuck are you talking about? Dad? Well, that's just what I'm seeing in this thing, and it also could give you lessons on what drugs and delusions and your spirituality and opportunities to go through all that pro the, those um, things and the opportunity to have all that for you for some weird experience reason. I don't know clue. And being on camera for no reason. Your soul is on camera. I don't fucking know. Why am I talking about this? This is nothing like yeah, you. This person's an asshole. They said they wanted to buy something from me. And I responded to them. And they haven't said shit. <gasps> People do that crap. Well, maybe they change their mind and they just don't feel like telling you, Oh, I've stopped liking your item or I'll just get back to it later. I don't know. That's rude. Oh, I know, I right? Them in the they're too busy. Shh. Yeah, it could be me and rude. Maybe they're just like window shopping and they just are scared to even talk to anybody because they might let you know in all their money and they're maybe just as scared that you would beg them to buy it or something. <laughs> you're like, Never mind. Okay, your Venus is in Cancer, which means you are very mother and nourishing and you treat everyone so good, so good when you're in a relationship with them. And you put them in the spotlight because it's in the fifth house and you make a story out of them. You make it and you are a... You make... Is that okay? Yeah. It means you probably um, would make, would you make someone a mixtape and shit or what? And also it means you like to do creative products with them in the fifth house and party and cancer the family with your family. So I'm not being that and your mother nourishing when you're in the spotlight. I don't know. Your Mars is in cancer so you'd rather cuddle with somebody than have sex. Is what I would say about your chart, but not about you. I don't even know you. And like, um, you're, it's in your. No, I'd rather have sex than cuddle. <laughs> it's also Mars in the sixth house, which means you might not even be that sexual. You might not be so sexual, and it's day to day, yeah. every day. I don't know. This I'm is a very horny person, Dashton. That's crazy. Your Lilith is in Capricorn, which means I... you're. You have a. It's also in the eleventh house. <laughs> of friends and you rebel and reputation serious with your friends you're serious with your soul you're serious about everything and you already been everybody's mom and family i have no clue and mothering and nourishing i have no clue i just don't know this i cannot even explain this because it is so not you i have no clue who you are but like your eighth house is in libra your 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 eighth house your eighth house is in libra and that means you might die of kidney problems there's something that i can find out oh that oh my god Well, are you dead yet? <laughs> I want to know. No. You must gave me the wrong birthday because this is not you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You're meant to have. <laughs> and also, you hard, hard work very hard. Now is your purpose is to work for a career. I don't know. You're also famous. You're also famous. You're very well known. That's okay, let me finish. Lucky. Okay, you said that for the 19th. I want to know. I have a friend that was born on the 20th. Check theirs. What the hell? Okay, and this is not you at all, because I'm going to throw this away in my mind and never look back, because if this no, is... No, I told you. I'm the 19th. I told you I wanted to know the person on the 20th. I want to know what theirs is. Oh, so we're changing it up with somebody else. This is not you, somebody else? No, just put... You're not even listening. I am listening, but I'm just trying to make it out... Like, it's the truth. We're just going to look at somebody else's. 
the chart, but uh, this right here. But yes, we're gonna look at somebody else's. Okay. Right now. I wanted to see what it says in the twentieth. Okay, we'll Same do. Shit except for the twentieth. Okay, we'll fucking do that. But this one's not yours that we just it got done with, right? It, it, that that is mine, Dash. Okay, well then let me not throw it away in my head though. But, but even if I'm wrong or I think I'm wrong, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna know what's right from you yeah, bro, eventually. Are you gonna put the Yes, I will, but your sea rest is in Libra, so your beauty heals everybody. And being relational and marriage pretending. And your crown is in Cancer, so you became your own mother and your own nourishing family. You became your own mom. Is this shit true about you? You did not say nothing personal. Your palace is in Virgo, day-to-day -day creativeness. Okay, your vista is in Gemini. I'm going to the next birthday. Your Juno is in Aquarius, so your friendship is who you marry. Your friends. You marry your friend, and you're not a judgmental loser. Even if you could be in the seventh house. I don't know what it is. Fuck. That's so weird. I forgot your rising sign. Okay, we're doing the 20th now. I'm rushing. So, yes. to be on time for you, Master Taurus. I am the electric eel for you. Oh, mwahaha. Okay, you are 1920, you say? What? The 20th of, no, of May. No, May 20th. May 20th. Well, the rest is the same shit I told you. True, true. Okay. The there you go. I got it. 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 I got it, Linda. Oopsie. Ah, uh, I hate the computer. Um, waste of time. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. And you in there? And they were born at one a.m. as well, or not? At two a.m. I mean. No, they were born at three a.m. Is that a guess? Because we can just. <coughs> no, that was I am. I'll put the estimate in. If that could be the truth, I'll, we'll put it in anyways. Okay, it's calculating it's slow. Okay, it's coming up. Let's let's hit it. Okay, their per this person's a Taurus. Their moon is in Leo as well. They were also a narcissist, and they were just loyal to having fun. And they are also... Their mother's this way. Their mother's the narcissist. They were their biggest fan. That's what I always say about moon and Leo, because it just is. They act like a fucking friend. Every day... They're a mother, and they get a spotlight every day. Fifth house, sixth house, a day-to-day -day chores. They get attention for doing that. I have no clue why I'm doing this. I don't know. It means they their mom was critical on them, too. So, there you go. Their third house is in Gemini, and their fourth house is in Gemini. Their son is in the second house. Oh, Fuck this. Their Pisces rising, so they can be a chameleon and be anybody. They can form into every sign. They look like every sign. They, they look like a fish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> their midheaven is in Sagittarius. So they're lucky with being well known and being a guru or something. Their Lilith is in the tenth house, so they make themselves known, whether you like it or not. They don't. People don't want to see them do this hard work, but they climb to the top of the ladder, anyways. And they become proud and arrogant about it. And then their fourth house is in Gemini, so they're a gossip bitch. I don't know. And they 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 they, they talk before they think. They think before they talk. They. They talk, talk at the right time, and they also have Mercury and Taurus in the second house at home with itself about. They're good at math or some shit. And their Venus is also in Cancer, so they're mothering and nourishing in a relationship, and they welcome you as a family and home, and they want their mom's approval because of it being Venus and Cancer. They want their mom's approval or something like that of who they're going to be, be with, and if they don't get that approval, then they kind of just... No, but I know. They, wait, this is bad. Person that I know, they do want their mom's approval. And if they and if they and if they don't get it, they kind of stray away from it like idiots. And their Mars is in the fifth house, so they're just really wanting attention and party and fun. And they also whether just cuddle then have sex. But then again, they do have one night stands. And then again, they're self centered. And then again, I don't know. They get attention anyways and at a party and. They're like mother and nourishing or something there. I don't know. Their heart is the mom. The family is about their family. The heart is their family. The family is a heart. Holidays and shit. They're lucky with it too. They're lucky with their family. They're lucky with getting all the attention. They're lucky with being all the sender. They're lucky with expression as well with their family. They're just so family oriented. Their Saturn is an Aquarius, which means their dad didn't like their um, sexual. They didn't. They didn't like their. Um, weirdoness, their friends, their father hates their friends, they don't like their friends, their father don't like, you know, they have friendship problems, or they were outcasts with their friends, they had a problem with making friends, their friends were taken away from them because their father wouldn't let them see them, 
their career was given to them and taken away at the same time their reputation is taken away from them and given to them and they're very lucky with being well known at the same time their life purpose was to work hard they already learned about being cancer and being a family and probably being a mother or some shit and then they give that to the world teach it to the world their uranus is in the 10th house that means their their futuristic higher self is being seen in the 10th house which is their career whatever the fuck and they're like uh, oh my god unusual work that they have and um their pluto is in the eighth house of secrets they isolate themselves and they have eighth house scorpio they'll die like really chaotic they won't even before uh, probably afford they have other people's money to pay for their funeral because they don't have it unless they're lucky with getting it from government or something and they're die they'll die trapped they die, they die horribly until their body wears out on them they will live until their body wears out on them in a bad way like a scary way a ruthless way i guess in a secret way maybe even raped and murdered literally they could be raped and murdered with this place meant pluto and scorpio in the eighth house <laughs> but anyways this is crazy like their mercury is in the second house that means they are about the person is gonna die horribly by rape and murder maybe or chaotically they like they will fight whatever that is that's killing them and eventually kills them until they fight till the death that's what they do this is the eighth house scorpion man it's not an eighth house taurus bitch it is something it's got pluto they'll die die isolated dude they'll die in isolation probably they will be Probably even in prison, they will die in prison. They will die alone, isolated, away from everybody. And no one will even know that they died. <laughs> and chaotically. Their Pisces rising, which deceives everybody, thinking that they're a really sweet person. They are a chameleon person. They can be anyone. They can marry you, and you'll never know who they really are. Their moon is in Leo, though. They're really loyal to just having fun. They don't care about anything else. They're not about friendship. They're about fun. And their moon is in a critical sign, which means they want day-to-day -day routines with how they feel. And if something and someone is outside their day-to-day -day routine that they have set for themselves, they'll get mad like angry monster, narcissist, whiny-ass bitch babies. And also, they will act like a narcissist, a fucking attention horse bitch and competitive Okay, that means their 5th house and 12th house is in Aquarius. You're everybody's friend when you're dead. Your spirit is everyone's higher self. You're your mental self in the spiritual world. You're intuitive with your fucking spirit. Like, you already know about it. And your ego. Well, you'll just be mentally on your own, distant. And your higher self will be, like, close to God. I'd be, can you shut up? I said no. I'm an extremely angry spirit, and I would murder those people who killed me. Or do wow. whatever I can to do whatever I can to them as long as I can and haunt them or do whatever I fuck I can. So this and might be... I can, so this... I would do. I would not be some happy, friendly spirit. <laughs> well, fuck. It'll be Icarus a maniac, an upper world ruler, though. So you'll be heavenly ruler. I guess. I don't know. I'm just saying shit. I'm making it up as I go. I just don't know. This is what I think. I'm just pretending that I know, but I don't really know because I don't read about this shit. I just look at the chart and I'm like, I'm like guessing shit. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, this is what it th this is what I think when I look at this bullshit. Okay, thank you. Jupiter and party. Good and having fun. Expression. So you're very talented to whoever this is. Is this not you? Who is this then? What the hell? Your fourth house is Gemini. You're at home with talking a lot more than when you do in the atmosphere of the 10th house. You're Pluto retrograde, so you die within from within all the time. You isolate from within backwards. What? Your Neptune is in Capricorn. It's a retrograde. Your spirit's in retrograde. Your Uranus is in Capricorn retrograde too. You have Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. No, no, no. You have Uranus. Lilith, Lilith from within. You you also rebel against yourself from inside about your... um. Now, damn it, your Pluto's in Scorpio and it's in retrograde. Your Neptune's in Capricorn and retrograde. Your Uranus is in Capricorn and retrograde. Your Saturn is in retrograde, Aquarius, as well. 
Saturn is in Aquarius right now. Whoever is going through their Saturn return is in right now. And if ever Saturn goes in retrograde, that's when you're doing your purpose. I have no clue. It'll give you this opportunity to make friends. And it'll take it away from you. And it'll make you an opportunity to have knowledge. And then it'll take it away from you. And that's just all I see in this fucking bullshit. When it says Saturn and Aquarius. And it says it is in the 11th house of social media and shit like that. I don't know. It's in Capricorn. You're serious with your friends. Blah, 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 blah. Your ninth house is in Sagittarius. So it's just happy-go-fucking-lucky. <laughs> Whoever this is, it is. Your seventh house is in Virgo. So you uh, attract a lot of fucking critical... Um, nitpicky, clean OCDC people who are just day-to-day -day routine, but you're, you come off as really sweet and chameleon, and everyone falls for it. But you use it to your own advantage, as in your tears and your emotions and shit. If you even are emotional. Hello, your moon is in Leo. So it's just, um, and it's in the second, sixth house, which means you have to analyze your own emotions to cry or even express them. You have to put them in a list. Like, I'll, be, I'll just have my breakdown Wednesday. I don't feel like doing it right now. I'll just cry later once I process this and digest it with my mind. And if it gets to my pride, I'll, I won't worry about it. Or your shit ego or something. Oh my god, you'll be just... Like, always in your chores, day-to-day -day routine to make yourself feel something. I don't know, man. Your son's in Taurus in the second house at home with itself. The ego's at home with itself. I don't know. In relationships. I don't know. You'll have a beautiful eyeball. And you'll look friendly. And you'll look like a fish, bitch. Whose chart is this? What the hell? <laughs> Why did we do that? <laughs> Why did you make me do that? Two different people, or just the same one. Well, I wanted to know it, Ashton. I wanted to know. So was I wrong about well, both of them? Well, was I was I wrong about I both of them? Some things I heard that there were some things I heard that were spot on, and then some things I heard that weren't true. Right. I'm just confused. I wasn't in foster care. Okay. Yeah, Ashton. Everything is not a hundred percent accurate. Obviously. Oh, Very true. I didn't read this. I'm not a 100% accurate. I'm a ridiculous tard. Okay. Saturn 11th house. Okay. And ego. All you have to do is let go of your ego. And you probably have a healthy ego anyway. So you're the bomb.com. You probably have a critical. You have a, a crumbled ego. If this is one true. And you have fucking crumbled um, reputation. But at the same time, it's not. Because you're lucky with being well known. I have no clue. This is what I think about that chart. The end. I could just talk about it all the time. Oh, yeah, let's see how you heal people. You heal people, like I said, Ceres and Libra. You were bonding with others and being beautiful and balanced. And your crown is cancer, so you got to be your own mother and nourish your own emotions and blah, 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 blah. What the hell? Like, intimate. I'm confused. Your palace is in Virgo, so you're perfect. Yay. Creative products to serve other people, I guess. And being critical and being pure-minded is what helps everybody and yourself. Like, you are practical as fuck for that. That's what it means, I guess. And your vistas in Gemini, what the fuck? You're lucky with siblings and neighbors and communicating and publishing stories and writing and being a handy person. The end, motherfucker. Bye. <laughs> with that, anyways. Okay. Anything you want to say about that? Because that was a lot of dribble. Ah, people want to marry you. Everyone wants to marry you. They come to you for that. And they want to eat your kidneys. Oh, they want a donation of your kidney. So you need to go give your kidney to someone to heal them. I'm not giving up my kidneys to anyone. Well, I'm sure you're a good match for everybody with your good kidneys. <laughs> if you got so obsessed with astrology, you would probably want to donate your organ. Some. That's good. That's good. Keep your freaking healthy organ to yourself. Thank you. But either way, if someone was get too obsessed with this and they had serious Libra and they want to heal somebody all the way, they'd give them a kidney away. <laughs> which I know the spirit who had a kidney uh, donated to them, which was a Virgo, gave, gave this dead Taurus person a kidney. Or it was a Virgo. I think it was a Virgo. The only kidney. one I'd probably give a kidney to is my mom. Aw, how sweet. I wonder what your Ceres house is in. And I don't know. Let's find out if it has to do with the fourth house of your mother. You are a mother. Okay. Um, Jupiter is with your mom. You have lucky mother, mother. Come on, Cirrus. Where is it? Uh, the symbol is not showing up on here. Okay.